Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be talking to you about my migraines. This is going to be part two. I felt very alone. A lot of the times I was upset because I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I was upset with like people in my life. They didn't understand what was going on. So I felt this feeling of being alone in it. Nobody knew what I was feeling or how I was feeling. They just knew that I was hurting and they didn't know how to help me. I also felt like really sick. Like I felt nauseous. I felt like I was gonna throw up a lot, um, which is a symptom of migraines. A symptom of migraines is um, being nauseous and dizzy and lightheaded and like throwing up. <laughs> I never threw up actually through this time. So really stinked. Um, I really wish I could have just thrown up because I think I would have felt a lot better if I did. But I'm so glad I wasn't just projectiling throwing up. I feel like I could have felt better if I did. Um, another thing is like they had some other ones like other symptoms and you can look up the symptoms. There were some other ones and I was like I don't have that. Like losing vision and stuff. Um, I did lose my vision one time but there's tons of other things that could be the cause of migraines it doesn't have to be just food it could be anything anything uh stressing not having a good mindset it could be anything yeah so that was something else that i was feeling my head was hurting all the time it hurt so bad like this whole side would feel inflamed and then the next side the next day it would be inflamed this side so it depends on which side the migraines on and when I would lean down on my pillow like this all of the pressure would go into my ear and that side of my face and it hurt so bad it, it hurt to just lay down it hurt to cry it hurt to do anything another thing of how I was feeling is I would eat and so when you eat you have these muscles in here okay and they move See, it's all moving so they move and so when they move it's like the tension is gone so if you have a ton of tension when you eat it removes the tension and so I would eat and I was like okay I know how to make myself feel better I just need to eat so I would eat and they would feel worse after eating here's my problem with the eating it kind of got to the point where I was scared to eat because I was like, I, I don't want to eat anymore. Like, I'm done. I will starve tonight because I don't want to eat. I would eat and then I feel 10 times worse after eating. It would just be a constant cycle. So for me, it was food. That was also my problem. So with me eating certain foods, once I started feeling better, then at certain foods, like 10 minutes later, bothered me because I was eating the wrong foods. That's a struggle and I felt very alone in it. I I didn't know what was going on. I felt really sick a lot of the times. My emotions were everywhere, okay? Like one minute I'm crying, one minute I'm not crying. It was crazy. So out of whack. Something to take in note with that is I didn't have my cycle. For a long time so I was getting a lot of like crazy emotions also so, like I would just like I don't know it, it was the point where like you were so upset like you you've been through your this pain is so bad that like you cry but then you don't want to cry because it hurts so bad. And the next thing you know, you're not crying because of the pain. You're crying because you can't cry because, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's kind of weird. Like, you can't cry because you have this horrible pain and it only makes it worse. But then you are crying because you can't cry. Because you can't express it. And so nobody's understanding what's going on with you. And so you cry because you don't know how how much more of this you can take. Now, I'm normally very dramatic and this wasn't dramatic for me. This was real. Like, normally I would fall off my bike and it was the end of the world. You know what I mean? Falling off my bike is nothing compared to the pain that I felt. 
like I've never felt this much pain ever and the fact that it just kept going on for weeks and weeks and nobody knew and so because nobody knew it was like worse and I'm trying to express myself and people around me are just like I don't know what to do for you and I'm like I don't know I don't know what to do for me just upset I need it to stop I was mean I was in the worst mood my sister thought I hated her <laughs> Which, you know, rightfully so, was mean at that time. I was not pleasant. My whole facial expressions were different. Like, I, I wasn't happy anymore. I was just in a lot of pain. Other people's responses bothered me. So, like, my family and, like, close friends, um... Not so much the family under my roof, like my mom and my dad and my sister and stuff. Like, um, some of my family, it bothered me because some people close to me were saying that I was being dramatic or I just wanted attention. And that's, um, really hard to hear when you're in so much pain. So much pain that, like you you don't know what to do you can't function while you're doing school like I'm homeschooled so you can't function like I couldn't read for the first time in my life the read like the words and everything jumped everywhere on the page and that never happens to me and it was freaky I couldn't read I couldn't function I would just sit there and cry and like that's not the most responsible thing to do people were telling me that I was being dramatic or I just wanted attention and it, it really bothered me because I don't want attention that's not why I'm doing it if I wanted attention I'd say hey can you give me some attention please like give me attention <laughs> but I wouldn't be like complaining about myself it just really caused a problem for me dramatic yes I am dramatic and I, I can understand that but for once in my life, I was, I was like trying to get people to understand that I'm not being dramatic. And that's so hard to do if you're already classified as the dramatic person. That's hard to convince people that you're not being dramatic. This really is a problem. I felt bad about it. And so one of my close family uh, members slash friends said to my mom that she just needs to give me more attention. I'm getting around the age of um, needing more attention and just wanting more attention. And so I'm going to be dramatic and just want attention. So she's like, just give her attention and it will be over. It really stinks when you hear that from like your family or your friends because it's like, I thought you were part of my team, you know? I thought that like, you were here for me, and now you're not. And I, it, I just felt very betrayed. I didn't have anybody. I felt like I didn't have anybody to help me. And it, it hurts, you know, because not only am I dealing with this pain, but I'm dealing with people that are close in my life telling me that I'm dramatic or um looking at me weird for eating certain things that cause migraines it's hard because you don't know what to do like anything could be causing my migraine at that point like i eat bananas i eat chocolate i eat everything under the moon and the sun and anything could be it and it's just hard because you're hearing all these things and you don't know how to process them at 15 you know you just don't so I struggle with that and mind you that family member or slash friend said it in front of me while I'm doing my schoolwork trying not to cry, trying to read while they're on speaker with my mom. That's great, you know, like it's really great. Like you don't want to hear that. 
so I'm sharing that to hopefully help somebody that's out there that's like me or not like me when you hear something like that just I want to help you understand that I hear you it's hard it's rough and sometimes it really stinks you know like it's bad like it's gonna hurt and you're gonna have some painful days but you're gonna get through it it's gonna be okay there's always a brighter end okay now you probably don't want to hear that if you're going through this right now because you just want to relate so hopefully you can relate to some of us something that helped me get through the pain this song jeremy camp there will be a day i kept thinking there will be a day <clears throat> where there is no more pain and no more tears no more fear there will be a day where none of that is and i feel like you could take that in so many different ways when you die when you go to heaven or to hell to hell you will still feel the way you feel but probably worse <laughs> um when you go to heaven there will be a day where there won't be any of that you'll live unconditionally like you will feel great through that time i knew that i had to figure out how i can get better because i was sick of it i knew that there will be a day without no more pain and no more tears and no more suffering now i took that in so many ways yes when you die that too but there will also be a day possible in your future where you won't fear or have any more tears or feel any more pain and that's not necessarily true i'm not saying that you can get rid of this and never have any pain in your life i'm not saying that but there is a day where you probably in the future won't feel as bad as you do now and i just i took that and i i i held on to it i tried to keep telling myself it even when i didn't believe it i'm done with this and i'm gonna figure out how to fix this because i'm done feeling like this i'm done suffering with this i'm over it I'm over the fact that family slash friends feel like they can tell me who i am so i need to figure this out i'm going to stop letting people take over my thoughts and um they people don't own your thoughts you own your thoughts I wish I learned that a lot sooner than I do now. Um, I learned this like a few weeks ago. It just came into my head and I was like, whoa, I own what's in my head. So let's change it. Let's change the way we think. Let's change the way we feel by changing what we think. If we think all these negative things, we're going to feel negative. And if we change the way we think to something positive, then we will probably feel better. There are going to be days where you're going to feel negative, but you're going to try and think positive and you will feel so much better internally, like in your head. i um, not saying that that's going to get rid of your migraines by thinking like that. That's going to be it for today. Uh, I feel like this was a little everywhere, but hopefully you got something out of it. Um, I really like that song. I just want you to know that I want to be that person for you. If nobody else believes in you, I'm here. I believe in you. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I found out about migraines, um, school, and how did I feel during that, about how I felt about finding out what was the real problem. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.